Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to make cute little colorful succulents out of these awesome molds, uh, out of these fake art stones made with the molds from the Happy Dotting Company. Um, now this is the, it's close, it's about 3.75 inches, um, less than a pound. It's perfect for doing all sorts of fun things on it if you are unable to find uh, round stones where you're from, uh, you can make them. So visit the Happy Dotting Company on Etsy and use my code Rachel's Rocks Canada to get 10% off when you spend $10 or more. So what I've done is I've sketched on my succulent leaves um, and now I'm going to start coloring them in. I'm going to be using a variety of different colors, um, but one of the most common colors that I will be blending with is this um, blue color that I have here. Now it is a French blue, um, so it's like a nice soft blue. There's kind of like a little hint of purple to it, I would say. Um, so I'm adding some eggplant purple and I'm blending it to the outer edges. I'm just going to kind of keep going back in. What I like to do is uh, darken the outer edges of the, the leaves of the succulent and keep the insides lighter. So I do a lot of blending back and forth. Right now, because it's such a small area, I'm using my blending brush, uh, which I have a tutorial for. I will leave it in the description of this video. And if you can't find it in the description, take a look on my channel and scroll, scroll through my over 100 videos um, and you will find my blending brush and my fine lining brush in there as well. So I'm just kind of darkening it up. Um, this is no, in no way going to be a realistic succulent. Um, I just love succulents so much and some of them have some pretty awesome coloring. Um, so I'm going to do one uh, myself and give it my own colors and uh, hopefully it looks really pretty when we're done. So uh, it's not, it's kind of smudgy and messy and, and soft looking. We will be outlining everything in black and gold today. Like I said, this is not going to be a realistic succulent, uh, but it's going to be colorful and it's going to be beautiful. And I'm pretty sure with the amount of purple that I'm already using that I'm going to fall in love with it. So we'll see. <laughs> um, now I am trying to do like a little bit of a, uh, crease in the center of some of the leaves, make it a little bit more noticeable, do some shading there with the purple. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see what this looks like when we're done. I am using purple and, uh, sorry, eggplant purple and berry wine mixed together to get this dark color around the edges of my leaves. I don't really know, are they leaves? Are they petals? Succulents kind of look like flowers, but their their petals are like super thick and squishy and I love them. I just love succulents so much. They they make me happy. Color makes me happy. Sparkle and shine makes me happy and succulents make me happy. I don't I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's because they have like strange geometric designs in them and and stuff like that. Even some of them look like rocks. They look like stones and they're just the most fascinating thing I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, these ones are going to be colorful and pretty, and I'm even going to switch up the colors a little bit and add a little bit of teal and a little bit of green, and you bet we are going to use some sparkle, but we'll wait till later to do that. So I just posted the balloon friends, uh, cute little balloon animals on Santorini stones. Um, I think you guys really like those. They're super cute. And so fun for so many different uh, different things, like someone was saying for place card settings or at a birthday party or, you know, there's so many things that you can do. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, this one is simple enough and pretty enough. You can even put it in a little, um, a little four inch pot, sit it right on top of it so that it looks like it's sitting in the pot and uh, or you can set it in with your plants if you do use resin uh, to seal your stone it is non-toxic and uh, it does really well in plants I have a couple uh, mandalas in some of my plants here at home and they do amazing even though 
I'm watering them. <laughs> so they, they don't lose color, they don't lose shine, and the plants don't mind them there at all. They just look good with each other. I do find um, some of my mandalas look really nice with succulents. So I end up taking lots of pictures of them in the summer months, um, resting on top of my hen and chicks. And I just love them so much. So I am sticking with the um, the blue and purple for the first couple sets of leaves, but I am going to change them up soon and add a little bit of blue here and there. And it kind of looks like it's watercolored, like it's it's very soft and 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 blended, and there's no like sharp lines anywhere, um, but. I do want to darken things up and I want to add some different colors. So I am using Martha Stewart sponges um, and make sure when you're going back and forth with different colors, you use a clean sponge or a new sponge um, so that you don't turn things into mud. <laughs> this The uh, lighting doesn't, I don't know if, it, if it's just my phone when I'm editing the video that the lighting looks poor, but it's much brighter in person. I, I just want you guys to know that. So I am just kind of giving it a little bit bolder of outlines with the purple, purplish. Um, it's, it's more of a burgundy with purple. It looks so nice though. But see, I am going back to that blue color each time, the French blue. Here's where I add some cerulean blue and some teal, folk art teal. It's a nice deep teal blue. And I am just smudging that all in. Gonna blend it in until it looks like a smooth transition between the two colors. I wanna still make sure that I can see that light blue. But you'll see I go back and forth doing a couple of different things. I add a little smudge of purple like I did there just to kind of blend it in with the blue a little bit but I'm bringing that light blue back in there. But you can do what you want. You can just do uh, like a green one with a little bit of burgundy on the edges, like the natural uh, looking succulents that you can see pretty much anywhere. Um, but, uh, or you can do it colorful like this one and add some glitter afterwards. <laughs> Completely up to you. Now this, this leaf here is, is more teal than it is blue. And that's okay. I'm changing them up. Each one's going to be a little bit different. Adding just a little bit more teal to that one side. See, one side is bluish, the other side is teal. I'm trying to add that crease in the in the leaf as well. I'm just kind of adding a little bit of blue here and there. And then they all come together. Just be random with it. Be random with the edges of your leaves. Um, do one side green, one side blue, add like bright green along the edge of it. I will be adding some bright green very, very soon. It all just kind of comes together and, and looks like a colorful succulent. You'll understand once you see it resined, it looks beautiful. Oh, sometimes I dream about resin. I dream about the beauty it creates or it's it's our artwork that may, it is beautiful, but the resin just does so much to it. So sometimes I just sit here and daydream. What can I resin? What can I show you guys with resin on it? <laughs> I love resin. So I'm adding a little bit more of that dark eggplant and berry wine mixed together to some of the edges. And as you can see, I'm being pretty random. There's not really like a unified color that each leaf is supposed to be. That's why it's called a colorful succulent. <laughs> oh, look, see, these are my Martha Stewart uh, paint pouncers and they are so old and covered in paint and stained and yeah, but they still work. They still do what I need them to do and that's all that matters. So worth it. Thank you, Martha Stewart. I wonder if Martha Stewart ever watches my tutorials and says, you know what, Rachel, you're using 
my paint pouncers amazingly. <laughs> Shout out to Martha. I love you, girl. See, I'm adding some bright green along the sides. It's almost like a neon, a neon green, and it just gives it this cool effect. Because I, like I said, I want it colorful. I want this to be a colorful one. Now you can add more color to the center leaves. Uh, that's totally up to you. I am using very watery black paint right now. And I'm outlining the outside of all of my leaves now. Now it's watered right down so you can see right through it. And that's basically to give it like a, a shadow effect. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically what I'm doing. Or you can go in with like a small blending brush and shade each and every one perfectly. Um, but I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to define these petals more after the glitter. I'm using um, like a nail shell powder. So it's like a glossy, glittery shell-like powder. And I'm dabbing it on with a makeup brush. And I'm just dabbing it in the places that I want to make it shiny. Um, I'm using like a light purpley color. I will leave a link in the description of where I get mine on Amazon. I buy them in like a set of five or seven different colors and they last, uh, well, I've had mine for years and I've still got lots left. So I'm kind of putting a little bit of pink um, in the center. And this really, this really makes the whole, uh, the whole thing look completely different. I'm going to be using a blue on the blue and more of a greenish color on the green areas, closer to the green, like the light, uh, light bright green there on the sides. Um, but mostly like a tealish color, turquoise blue going on these petals. And, and then we're going to use like a clear gloss to hold all of that glitter in place. Um, but, uh, first I'm going to outline with gold. So I'm making sure that I cover, I don't cover up the shaded like watery black outline that I did already. Um, I want to be able to see that as much as I possibly can, but I will be going along the gold with a black line as well. So now that everything's outlined in gold, I waited for it to dry so that I could get right up beside that gold and, uh, and do an outline for the petal itself. And I still want to try and see the shaded watery black outline that I did as well. So there should be like a layer. So there's the, the petal, then there's an outline of gold, then there's an outline of black, then there's like a minimal outline of the watery black lookalike shading area. Might be a little bit confusing, but you might be able to see it a little bit better uh, under the resin because it is like a magnifying glass. But doesn't this look pretty? It's glittery. You can do any kind of glitter you want on it. Um, it will look nice in a little pot uh, with some other plants or, or what have you, or in a garden. Um, yeah, I am going to do the rest of this in black. So underneath on the bottom and all beside the petals is going to be black, which you will see very, very soon. And you can't see the glitter very well right now, but uh, I assure you under the resin, it's, it's gorgeous. It really makes everything just a little more beautiful. So I am using triple thick uh, clear gloss and that is simply to keep that glitter in place. I don't want my purple glitter to mix with my pink glitter. Um, so here it is resined and that glitter, oh, you guys, what do you think? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous and you can do it in more natural colors, but you know me, 
I'm just not natural. <laughs> I'm supernatural. I love you guys. I hope you have fun with this. Just keep painting.